Hi guys, my name is Manish Kumar Tiwari and I'm back with a new video on my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKD. As a part of this video, I'm going to talk about how to save your time while doing regression testing manually. Condition if there is no automation script available in your organization. So let's get started. If you are a manual tester in any organization and wondering why there is no time, why you are always busy and why you are not getting any time to do any extra work in the organization. The reason can be your regression testing because most of the time you spend your time to do the regression testing and I totally agree to it, right? But are you doing your regression testing in a better way? Well, I don't think so. See guys, I totally agree that regression testing we do after our all the testing to make sure that any changes made by the developer that can be adding a feature, deleting a feature, fixing any bug or code modification done by the developer is not impacting the unchanged feature of an application. To confirm that we do the regression testing, I totally agree to it. But I am not saying you to test the entire application now, right? Now that's a bad approach. You should never test the entire application after the code changes done by the developer in any of the sprint. If you are doing that, that's a bad approach. You must stop it now. No, I totally agree to you that your company will be doing it, right? Maybe your company will be asking to do that. I totally agree to it. But you should always conduct a meeting called as impact analysis meeting before doing your regression testing. And I guarantee you this can really save your time. Now, what exactly is this impact analysis meeting? For this, I have already uploaded a video. I'm not sure if you have seen it. Even in case not, please go and watch it. So before performing your regression testing, you must do your impact analysis meeting in which you call your developer, product manager and you yourself and ask, discuss what are the impacted areas so that as a tester, you can concentrate on those areas. And after that, you can only use your time to test only those part. Not only that, you are a tester from your side. Also, if you think something can get impacted tomorrow, please test that. But testing the whole application after any code changes done by the developer is not a good idea to do. That is why guys, we have a meeting called as impact analysis meeting. This meeting is conducted by the testers, not developer, not product manager. I can assure you that most of the organizations are not following this. But in case they follow what changes they can bring to the organization, let me tell you. If this meeting is conducted by the tester, no matter which tester, you should not depend on your lead to do that. You should not depend on your senior QA to do that. If you are a fresher candidate, if you have one year of experience or no matter you have a 17 year of experience, all the testers can do this meeting called as impact analysis meeting in which they can ask the developers and product manager or the business analyst to participate in a meeting called as impact analysis meeting and ask for the impacted areas because developer is the person who have written the code. Product manager is the person who is a domain expert and you are a tester who has a full knowledge about the product, right? So discuss just because of the changes done by the developer, what all things can get impacted and try to concentrate on those impacted areas rather than testing the entire application. Well, this comes into picture when you are a manual tester and in case you are an automation tester, the same activity can be done with the help of the automation testing. If you are integrating automation testing in your organization, then the same part, same regression testing can be done by any of your automation testing tool. Not only that, the best benefit of automation testing tool available in the market is also the same code can also run on the different different platform. So you are only automating your application to save your time to do the regression testing. But parallelly, you can also do your compatibility testing in which you are testing the same application on different different browsers. No matter who you are guys, no matter how many year of experience you have, one year of experience or two years of experience, believe me or not, in your organization, if anyone is not doing that, now this is your responsibility to initiate this meeting in your organization. If you really initiate this meeting in your organization guys, I guarantee you, you can really save your time. And this is how you should do regression testing. Thank you guys. If this video was useful, please give a thumbs up to this video. If you have still not subscribed to my channel, Software Testing by MKT, please do that. 
and please share this video with your needy friends. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.